so we can be generally reassured that you know people have looked using you know big Swedish data sets and Danish data sets but not for example the risk of breast cancer has increased you know because people are worried about giving these hormones and the data is all very reassuring there's no increased risk because people have had IVF or had the IVF drugs in terms of any of these cancers so that's very reassuring in terms of other abnormalities like cardiovascular disease, diabetes, again, there's no evidence of that. There's no problems with evidence of bones. So the, I guess the, the biggest issue that people may have is just kind of the psychological roller coaster that people are placed on when they go through IVF and, you know, that their hormones. But I say that is more potentially that might have a detrimental effect on the longer term, just of how they cope with the IVF cycle um, but, and the implications of how they responded to drugs. But that is not directly attributed to the injections themselves. That's more about the whole IVF process rather than the drugs.